Well, it's been a roller coaster year for the U.S. economy, and despite high prices at the store, inflation is coming down. Mortgage rates have dipped below 7%. Still, that's a lot higher than recent years, making it nearly impossible for a lot of Americans to afford to buy a home. But there are a few ways you can reclaim some of your power. Peter Dunn, CEO of Your Money Line and host of Pete the Planner, is here. Hello, sir. Thanks for working with us the week before Christmas. Good to be with you again. Pete, one Wall Street analyst says inflation is permanent and that we never regain purchasing power lost to inflation. That doesn't sound very hopeful. Is, is this about people who made purchases during high interest rate times and, of course, then they don't have any negotiating room? Uh, potentially, you know, but that, that statement has been true through all of the history of our economy. We, yeah. Anytime there's inflation, it resets prices and they don't really come back down. You remember, we don't get bread for a nickel anymore. So uh, I, I would say this, that interest rates have become so troublesome for, for car buyers and home buyers. Our best bet is to try to negotiate the actual price of the items. And I would call these sort of mid-sized items, Adrian, not necessarily cars and houses, which you should negotiate, but those couple thousand dollars, appliances, furniture, the things that people buy on a more frequent basis. I'm hoping that there are other bright spots where we can regain purchasing power. Do you have any glimmers, a light at the end of the tunnel? I mean, theoretically, I mean, the thing is, like, you're your your money gets used to or financially you get used to the fact that prices are a little bit higher and i would say even prices in the next 18 months will will be better consumer prices i think people are going to be mentally shook up by the next 18 months more than financially shook up by the next 18 months but again you should try to negotiate when making purchases and i'll also say this supports the economy by shopping at moms and pops and independent stores because you're going to have a little bit more wiggle room of hey, can you waive that delivery fee? Or if I buy this and that, can you cut me a break? And I think that's how people regain control of their finances. Well, I, I mean, it, it could feel like more of a swap meet if you go to a local mom and pop. But uh, in terms of those big box stores that so many of us frequent, the Department of the Treasury says President Biden's economic agenda, it focuses on giving the middle class more breathing room. It helps reduce the cost of goods and services and increases wages. But I mean, the U.S. Treasury says prices of a lot of goods and services have gone up. So is the economic plan keeping up with these interest rates? I mean, in my probably not. I mean, that's great copy. I think you and I can both look at it and be like, wow, it's a good press copy. release. Yes. It's a wonderful press release. But I, I think there's still that the middle class is still being squeezed with consumer goods. So I'll tell you, back in 2020, when people took control of their finances, when things were so chaotic, it's because they spent less money. It's because mm -hmm. what they did was they saved money and they paid down debt. So I hate to say it, the best way a person can take control of inflation is to save money and pay down debt. Not, not the, <laughs> the most fun Brilliant. thing, but it's the truth. I know, I'm a genius. One thing I do want to see uh, is that you can maybe look ahead. You know, you go over all this economic data and, and you are an expert in this field. So tell the people watching at home what maybe a smart thing to do is looking into 2024 when it comes to a home purchase. You know, yes, interest rates have gone down, but not much. Uh, and for a lot of people, it's still way too high. Do you see the housing market shifting in the new year? I do. I, I see interest rates coming down, uh, you know, by late next year will have popped down a couple different times. So I wouldn't be in a rush to buy a home this this winter or this spring. I, I think you wait till rates come down. Here's the thing. A higher priced home isn't the issue. A higher interest rate for 30 years, Adrian, that's a big problem. Now, people say you can always refinance it, but it's not that simple uh, based on the economic factors. So I would say be patient in the housing market. Second half of the year should be a better time to buy. Okay. And also think about mortgage uh, homeowners insurance and also auto insurance. The insurance industry is just going through this crazy hemorrhaging right now, especially if you live in Florida or California. And it's going to create a, a comp competition across the entire country. It, it absolutely will. I mean, those factors of home ownership. if this is the first time you've ever are going to purchase a home, take some time to understand what these things are, maintenance, upkeep, homeowner's insurance, just like you said, Adrian, because that's where people get in trouble. They don't think this all the way through. Yeah, they don't think about all the nooks and crannies. Peter Dunn, good to see you as always. Happy holidays. Same to you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.